at center for Connecticut, listed at 6'11", a junior from Katy, Texas, number 43, Jake Bosco. Lamine to Bosco. Down low for Freeman, couldn't find him, but Freeman gets it back off the loose ball. And Bosco with the putback. Bosco. To see if it's a broken wrist. Freeman down low, the double touch won't stay, but Bosco is there. 20 minutes for the gentleman in the red uniform. All right, so Coach Plansky, as Bosco gets it low and gets an easy two to start the second half. In the American East, because you're going to get a lot of pressure from Hartford. But when you're playing against athletes like Utah, you're just playing right into their hands. Bosco with a nice little spin move. Tim Higgins heads up the crew. He will throw it up, and we are underway. Controlled by Bosco quickly. Ella Meaton and Tiptoe. And this hustle back into the play. Bosco low is there. He gets the bucket and the foul. And not what Tim Castro wants. There's another turnover. Those quick hands all over the place. You just have to move the basketball, get it off the floor if you're Wagner. Bosco. to Vosco. No, that's too easy. Wow. Jim, but he has great timing. Hamilton to Vosco. Give the assist to the All-America, and Vosco cashes in. Eight on the shot clock. Inside, Vosco. No whistle. How about that? Two plays exactly the same with no call on the low block. Four against Duke on Wednesday. Rashmel Jones to Bosco. Good hands. Bosco. Freeman to Bosco. What a pass. What was so good there. Over the top. Oh. Bosco. Yes. The assist for Moore. With Warring, Bosco, and Saunders. Those two good points on the board quickly. Bosco had his man pinned right under the basket. Great execution. They're trying now. You Throw can see that. Inside. Yes, sir. Jake going up strong. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, it's so easy to coach here, baby. Shooting recently. That may be a momentum builder because their confidence is eroded somewhat because of the way they have been shooting on the perimeter. Inside, Bosco gets it up and lays it home. Bosco got the good feed, got loose inside, and the Huskies go back on top. For Lockhart, on the other side of the ledger, Ricky Moore has five to lead the way for the Huskies. Scramble for the loose ball, controlled by Connecticut. Bosco, down the lane he comes, and it rolls in. Boy, Jake Bosco a little more aggressive on the offensive end in the early going here. The second half. Hamilton. Around Cosby, into the lane, up and hanging, shooting, missing, no good, tipped up and in. Bosco again on that offensive glass. Instead, they're up three. Freeman, Bosco, off the glass and good. Oh, what a great pass. Did you see that drop down pass? Freeman turned, looked over his shoulder. We are running in fast break. You gotta stay right in there and concentrate. Saw it 10 minutes left. Nice entry pass for Bosco. He got inside Phillip and he lays it in. He actually has also taken one shot inside the air. Hamilton for three. Tipped up Saunders, tipped in Bosco. Well, again, give credit to Saunders, though, to keep... Why he's not shooting the ball real well, we'll keep an eye on it. Slices inside, steps up Bosco as he bangs it off the glass, and good. Jake gets on the board, live playing this year, and he's really looking for the ball well. Hamilton tried to give it up to Bosco, who makes a nice catch and finish. Seven for Bosco. 53-37, first basket goes to Villanova, down low, and Bosco answers. Both big guys working themselves. And the Mountaineers, remember, this is what they did so well last year when they had the veteran team. They pressed you all over the place. Elamine comes down with three on two. Looks to Bosco for the first basket and a foul. There's an old adage that says press a pressing team, but you take a look at the reaction from Elamine. I think he's excited about playing the next 40 minutes up and down. All alone is Saunders, but Gorey got there and Bosco with a finish. One of the reasons why they always seem to get open looks is the ball moves around so fast. A perfect example right there, a couple of perimeter passes, a quick pass down low to the slot, and Bosco with the easy opening. Notre Dame shot 52% in the first half, but didn't get many looks. They turned it over too much. Bosco inside. 
Trainer Joe Sharp is working on Ricky on the bench. Inbound to Vosco who loses Hickey. And make sure they're taking good shots from each possession. Vosco inside. Vosco lays it up and in. He has really started to help this team out a lot. The figures and meanwhile, Connecticut in after beating Notre Dame Tuesday here in this building. Vosco again underneath. How about that entry pass from the left wing though? They just have to figure out a way to hang, though. They can't let the runs start going. Vosco getting everything he wants underneath, cleaning up. Pitt just can't seem to really scramble and find the basketball. Here's Hamilton. Oh, great pass. Oh, yeah. What a great drop pass by Hamilton to Vosco. Yeah, the first couple of minutes, they looked like they had good bounce. There's that slip pass. But when Hamilton, a scorer, comes around the screen, you're thinking, shot. Slow him down, Vosco with the read. See, one of the things about the big guys, and he has really got a good understanding of this, is the putback is good by Hawkins and questioned by the Connecticut crowd. Vosco, oh, nice pass. Morey, got it, three-point opportunity. Oh, man, look at the smile on Vosco's face. Vosco just a couple seconds ago. Saunders, great outlet to after, get it inbound. After a made basket, showtime for the big fella. 12-0 run for Connecticut. <laughs> That's one of those, though, Dave. Moore wasn't picking shot there, I can tell you that. He looked at twice to pass the basketball. Vosco got in and forced it. Oh, he's starting off good again. He's got 12. So that would have been like November of 97. And the attack, I tell you, looking pretty decent in terms of putting that basketball down. But watch the defender. Hawkins leans up towards the foul line. A good recognition by Vosco just then. Very good recognition. Jones inside Bosco. He was calling for it the entire time. Nobody guarded him and Ross Jones saw him. And Moore gets the handle first. Elenine into Bosco. Help comes over. The foul plus counted. That's really positive for Connecticut. If they can get inside scoring out of Bosco. Set City. Hamilton glides in off the mark. Nice follow by Vosco. There's Vosco, big and strong on the inside, hanging around the offensive boards. Though, to slow all the way down, coming back. UConn doing a great job helping out defensively. There is a great pass, great block. Three by Vosco in the last three possessions. Hamilton drops it to him, and he lays it up. Wow! Great job by Sheen Hall that time. Marcane is to find him with one the shot clock. Down low, Vosco rebounds it. And score. Solid up front. The people are going to have to stay healthy. Stay out of foul trouble. The bench has been affected. Oh, nice look. Perry can't answer back. Morin gets out. Great pass. Nice pass to Vosco. Oh, did Morin make a great dish? Did you see Vosco running at four? Got a hand on the rebound of his miss, but couldn't control it. El Amin, the pull up for two. Bosco really running on the ball. Great pass, and then a big man that hustles down the floor. Postel's been the star of this game for St. John's. Bosco inside. That was about as aggressive I've ever seen Jake Bosco. First, the six team foul, so each team now is. One foul away from the bonus. More nice bounce. Bosco gives Connecticut the lead. This is also short. Now UConn will put it down. El Amin with three personal feet. Bosco, oh, slam goes down hard. What Jake Bosco means to this UConn team. And Tony Gray with the foul call. Coming up over the top, and now they'll try to calm Jake down on this play. From the perimeter, it just won't go down. Elamine pull up. That won't go. That was wide left. Bosco with the putback. Now this Connecticut, they should take advantage of the boards. Bosco determined to make one from the baseline. Hasn't hit yet. Bosco ahead of the pack. Bosco with the catch and the flush. Oh, wow. Can he run the floor? Caught that one and sent it down at 6-11. Playing with that sore foot, but he got out after that one. Boy, Bosco... Showing some giddy up. Sure did he. I mean, he had to go out and get it and then finish. It's all right to hang on the rim right there if there's fear that there's people underneath you. But check him out. It's a foot raise, and Ross can't catch up to him. Who catches him? Willie Dean catches him, I guess, on the way up for that shot. First time Connecticut has finished a break. Hey. Hamilton 
Bowman pulls up. Look at Bosco get up. That's foot five. That's a little mistake, too, defensively. Two guys have started to head out towards Hamilton. It leads to a staggered double. Here comes Hamilton. Pretty long. The guys from UConn have turned the page before this <laughs> paragraph is done. And what's confounding is it was flowing so smooth for this team as El Amin missed, but Fosco gets the putback. Interesting zone. It's a 2 3, then it flattens to a 3 2. Good follow. Man. Finally, Jake Fosco puts it home on his third opportunity. You know, after each timeout, you expect UConn to come out and go on that 10 0 run that changes the game, and they've been unable to do it. Bosco inside with a nice turnaround. Uh, they're going to use him. I mean, and Freeman. Kevin, the only points of this half. Grim, nice look to Jake Bosco's first goal of the night. Eight points from the pivot. Quick 20 for Mike Jarvis. Jake Bosco didn't play much in the first half, but active to start this second half. Jake Bosco, after he makes the pass, doesn't stand still, gets to the spot. And as we see here, everyone points to Rip Hamilton when he gets the ball, and Bosco is the recipient. Hamilton again recognizing the defense as Jesse steps up. Bosco is Jesse's man. He stepped the penetration. Bosco found an opening. Five to shoot. It'll be Jake. He's not called upon often. Two hours before the game, the warm-ups actually. Bosco hits another hoop inside. I said, is this the last, last time I get the pleasure call one of your Big East games? Four for UConn. Harrison, a senior walk-on. Straight up 3-2 zone right now. Harrison pulling the trigger on a three. Bosco in some traffic. He gets the tap in. North Carolina down early, the number three seed. The Weaver State on the inside, Jake Bosco. You see that in NCAA tournament play. Absolutely. Southwest Missouri State. Yeah. Under Steve Alford getting out of the first round. Jake Bosco with the bucket on the inside. Iowa's got seven guys who can shoot the three. Their percentage hasn't been great this year. There, Bosco gets the easy basket inside, but. Oh down low, heels it off. Two-hand jam, Bosco. Guarded by Fromm. 12 on the shot clock for UConn. Here's a high pick and roll. Elami changed his shot. And it's tipped up and in by Bosco. So remember, Elami is 0 for 12. Here's Rip Hamilton. Down low, Bosco lays it in. Of his range. And Bosco ahead to El Amin. Bosco trailing. Bounce pass back to him. Hey, it's give and take. I do it on the last trip. You give it back this. They allowed Duke to make five out of ten threes in that first half. That's the second foul on Carowell. Hamilton to Bosco, and he puts it up and in. Good job by Hamilton to recognize that some.